She's celebrated by Chinese netizens as the hottest woman in China, even earning the title of national goddess among the younger generation online. Her name is Tao Hua Bi, but she's not a glamorous celebrity or a youthful sensation. Instead, she's a beloved 70-year-old grandmother, a culinary legend, and the mastermind behind China's most beloved chili sauce brand, Lao Gan Ma. Tao Huabi's unique chili sauce isn't just a favorite in China. It has captured the hearts and taste buds of people around the world. Even international stars like John Cena, the famous actor, rapper, and legendary professional wrestler have joined the chorus of admirers. Cena was so enamored by the sauce that he couldn't resist praising it in Chinese, as seen in this video. So now, just like John Cena, we have no affiliations with Lao Gan Ma, and this video isn't sponsored by the brand. Instead, we're captivated by the incredible journey and entrepreneurial spirit of Tao Huabi. In her honor, we make this video to delve into her remarkable story from the hardships she faced in her early days to her rise as a successful female entrepreneur who built an empire centered around chili sauce. And of course, we'll uncover the intriguing origin of the name Lao Gan Ma. Tao Huabi's journey began in the humblest of circumstances. Born in 1947 in a small village in the impoverished province of Guizhou in southwest China, she entered a world marked by scarcity and hardship. Tao was the eighth daughter in her family, and her parents struggled daily to provide even the basic necessities, making education a distant dream. Tao grew up without the privilege of learning how to read and write. The challenges she faced only intensified during the Great Chinese Famine, which raged between 1959 and 1961. In those dire times, Tao resorted to digging for wild vegetables and experimenting with various methods to make the meager food available taste better. Survival demanded innovation, and Tao's resourcefulness would later prove to be a crucial asset. At the age of 20, Tao married her husband, and together they welcomed two sons into their family. However, the joy of their young family was short-lived as her husband fell gravely ill, battling liver disease. Tao found herself thrust into an incredibly challenging situation. Uneducated and illiterate, she lacked formal job experience. The family's financial situation grew increasingly dire as they grappled with mounting medical expenses and the costs of raising their children. Faced with this crisis, Tao took a courageous step, leaving her rural life behind for the bustling city of Guangzhou in southeast China, where she sought employment as a migrant worker in a factory. Remarkably, she carried with her a small but precious asset, her homemade chili sauce. In times of desperation, she used this fiery condiment to add flavor to her steamed buns, a simple yet resourceful way to enhance her meager meals. Tao's chili sauce also won the hearts of her co-workers, who marveled at its deliciousness. Despite her valiant efforts, her husband passed away, and she returned to Guizhou as a widow, her heart heavy with grief. Now thrust into the role of sole caregiver and provider for her two young boys, she turned to entrepreneurship. Tao began by selling rice curd, and later set up a street stall where she sold vegetables, often working tirelessly until the early hours of the morning. It was in these challenging early days that Tao's indomitable spirit and resourcefulness 
began to shape her future success. Years later, when reminiscing about the challenges she faced during those early years, Tao Huabi offered these poignant words. Life was hard in past decades. I was once kicked off a bus because I was carrying a large bag of noodles. I didn't cry even in the toughest situation. I had two sons to feed. In 1989, at the age of 42, Tao Huabi made a bold move by transforming her modest street stall into a cozy eatery known as the Economical Restaurant. At first glance, it appeared to be just another place offering simple noodles. However, Tao had a secret ingredient up her sleeve, which was her homemade spicy hot sauce. Little did she know that this unassuming restaurant would be the birthplace of a culinary empire. Tao's generosity and warm-hearted nature quickly endeared her to the local community. She was more than just a restaurateur. She had become a cherished figure known as Lao Gan Ma, meaning the old godmother, among her earliest patrons, predominantly struggling students who relied on her affordable noodles to fill their hungry bellies. Despite her own financial hardships, Tao extended a helping hand to these young souls, by generously offering extra servings of noodles at no additional cost. In return for her kindness, they affectionately dubbed her Lao Gan Ma as a token of their gratitude. The word spread like wildfire, and soon her noodle shop was thriving. Yet, the true star of the show wasn't the noodles themselves. It was the tantalizing chili sauce that kept people coming back for more. Customers couldn't resist the fiery allure of Tao's unique condiment, and they often ordered extra servings. It was a pivotal moment when Tao realized just how popular her condiments had become. People began visiting her restaurant not for the noodles, but to purchase her signature sauce on its own. On occasions when her sauce had temporarily sold out, customers hesitated to eat her noodles without that spicy kick. Tao's chili sauce had made such a name for itself that neighboring noodle shops began using her homemade creation in their own dishes, a testament to the allure of her culinary innovation. By the early 1990s, fortune smiled on Tao in an unexpected way. The construction of a new highway in the area brought a surge of truck drivers passing by her restaurant. She saw this as an opportunity to introduce her condiments to a broader audience. Tao began giving away her sauces for free to the truckers, encouraging them to take these spicy treasures back to their homes. This form of grassroots word-of-mouth marketing proved to be a shrewd move. As tales of Tao's remarkable chili sauces spread far and wide, people from beyond her immediate neighborhood started visiting her humble shop, eagerly seeking out her condiments and other flavorful creations. The seeds of her future success were sown, and it was clear that Tao Huabi's culinary journey was just getting started. By late 1994, Tao Huabi made a bold decision that would forever alter the course of her culinary journey. She bid farewell to her noodle-selling days and transformed her modest eatery into a specialty store with a singular focus, the sale of her now-famous chili sauce. Two years later, at the age of 49, Tao embarked on a courageous and audacious venture. She rented a house, assembled a team of 40 dedicated workers, and established her very own sauce factory. And what name could be more fitting and appropriate for this endeavor than Lao Gan Ma? This was the name she had earned through the trials and triumphs of her remarkable journey, a name now synonymous with flavor, resilience, kindness, and unwavering entrepreneurial spirit. Early on, the factory lacked the automation and machinery we might associate with modern production. The task of chopping chili peppers was a manual endeavor, with Tao herself donning her apron and working alongside her employees at the factory tables. In 1997, the company officially opened its doors for business, marking a significant milestone in Tao's journey. Yet, what truly sets Lao Gan Ma apart isn't just its signature chili sauce. There's also the unconventional marketing strategy that has underpinned its meteoric rise. Unlike many other companies, Lao Gan Ma shuns traditional marketing tactics. There were no flashy advertisements, no celebrity endorsements, no social media presence or campaigns, 
and the company's website has remained virtually unchanged for years. Even the packaging, bearing the same old-fashioned logo for decades, has never succumbed to the allure of modernization. This marketing approach perfectly embodies Tao's no-nonsense philosophy. If your product is exceptional, people will return for more. We're selling the flavor, not the packaging, Tao once succinctly put it. Staying true to her principles, Tao has consistently turned down offers of listing the company on the stock exchange, securing financing, or taking out loans. She firmly believes that going public is a financial scam, and the company may face bankruptcy shortly after being listed. With this resolute stance, Tao has guided her company down a unique path to success. The rest, as they say, is history. Today, Lao Gan Ma stands as an undisputed titan in the realm of chili products, proudly holding the title of the largest producer and seller of such delicacies in all of China. The magnitude of its operations is nothing short of astounding, with the company churning out a staggering 2.3 million bottles of chili sauce each day. These impressive numbers translate into an annual revenue of a jaw-dropping 4.5 billion Chinese yuan, or approximately 600 million US dollars. To put this remarkable achievement into perspective, even global condiment giants like Heinz Ketchup produces fewer bottles at 1.8 million, and the beloved Hui Fong Sriracha, also known as Rooster Sauce, trails far behind with a production volume of 55,000 bottles. In a testament to its sheer dominance, data from 2021 revealed that Lao Gan Ma commands a substantial one-fifth of China's chili sauce market. It comfortably maintains its leading position, leaving competitors in the dust. The closest contender, Li Kum Ki, occupies a distant second place, holding a mere 9.7% of the market share. Unsurprisingly, Lao Gan Ma has become one of the most recognizable and esteemed brands within China's business landscape. In a 2019 ranking of top brands in China, it proudly claimed its spot among the elite, alongside other renowned national brands such as Huawei, TikTok, Tsingtao Beer, and Alibaba. The towering success of Lao Gan Ma has translated into immense wealth for its founder, Tao Huabi. In 2015, Forbes China estimated her fortune at a staggering 1.05 billion US dollars, securing her the 351st position among China's top 400 billionaires and billionaire families. The following year, in 2016, she continued to hold her place among the financial elite, ranking 487th on the 2016 Hurun China Rich List, with a comparable fortune exceeding $1 billion. Simultaneously, Tao Huabi earned her spot on the global rich list, an impressive feat that saw her secure the 18-19th position on the 2016 Hugh Run global rich list. As we conclude our exploration of the extraordinary journey of Tao Huabi and the spicy empire she built, one thing becomes abundantly clear. The story of Lao Gan Ma is more than just about chili sauce. It's a testament to the indomitable human spirit. In a world often dominated by glitz and glamour, Tao's story reminds us that true success is born from hard work, determination, and a passion for what you do. She didn't just create a brand, she created a legacy. So, the next time you reach for that familiar bottle of Lao Gan Ma chili sauce, remember the remarkable woman behind it, Tao Huabi, the Spice Queen of China, whose journey from chili-loving grandmother to an icon of entrepreneurship will continue to inspire generations to come. If you've never had the pleasure of savoring its delectable flavor, fear not. You can easily acquire a bottle of Lao Gan Ma from a nearby Asian grocery store. Additionally, this beloved chili sauce has found its way onto the shelves of major supermarket chains like Walmart, Kroger, and Tesco. Of course, you can always turn to Amazon to have a taste of this culinary sensation delivered right to your doorstep. So, whether you're a seasoned fan or a newcomer to the world of Lao Gan Ma, there's a bottle waiting for you to discover its irresistible allure. Thank you for joining us on this flavorful adventure. See you in the next video.